In this session, we will select options from a dropdown. Selenium provides three methods to help us select from a dropdown. The three methods are select by visible text, select by value, and select by index. Our AUT will be orange HRM. The three options, drop downs will be employment status, job title, and subunit. To save time, I have import statements written for web driver, by Chrome driver, and the AUT has been maximized on Chrome. Now, let's go ahead and write our test scripts to first log into the application. Username driver.findElement by ID. The value for ID, I'll come back to that. And it has a value of admin. I'm going to copy, paste. For password, the value is admin123. And then we click the login button with driver.findElement by ID. Now, at this point, we do not send keys to click a button. We use click. Going to the AUT, I'm going to log out and we see username has an ID value of TXT username. Password has a value of TXT password. The login button has a value of BTN login. Let's go back to our test script and write those values. TXT username, TXT password. Last for the button, BTN login. Now we have logged into the application. At this point, we will click the next part, which is the PIM module. Before clicking the PIM module in our test script, let's look at the DOM to get the information for PIM. It has an ID value of menu PIM view PIM module. Okay, so, and we're at the page with the drop downs. IDE, let's go ahead and click that module. Driver.findElement by ID, the value, and we click. Now, in the AUT, like all web elements, the first step is to find the web element, and second, we perform an action on the web element. Inspect the employment status dropdown. And it has an ID value of imp search underscore employee underscore status. Copy this value, but notice the tag name is select. In Selenium, we are not able to directly select an option from the dropdown because of this select tag name. We must import the select class. In the IDE, let's go ahead and import the select class by writing from selenium dot webdriver dot support dot ui import select there it is now let's investigate the select class by hitting the control key hover select then click this module shows class select and the methods Let's look at three of the methods that we discussed already. Control F and we write select underscore by and cycle through the methods. And the first method we see is select by value, select by index and select by visible text. And there's more. So for the test script, we find the element. by writing driver dot find element by id and the value was imp search underscore employee status underscore imp search 
underscore employee underscore status. Let's assign the value to find employment underscore status. The next step is important because we use the select class. Then pass in the variable we just wrote, which is find employment status. Inside the select class, we pass it into it. Now, we're going to assign this value, select employment status. To recap what, what I just performed, first I found the element then stored it into a value called find employment status. Second, I pass the variable into the select class, which has the value I found. At this point, we have access to all methods in the select class after writing select employment status. I'm going to just copy and paste and dot. Here are the three methods we discussed. Select by value, select by index, and select by visible text. Visible text, value, and index. Let's first start off with select by visible text. Go back to the AUT. If I click employment status, drop down, we see some options. All of these are visible to the user. Therefore, it is the visible text in the DOM. The select element shows the same options. All freelance, full-time contract, full-time permanent, full-time probation, part-time contract, part-time internship, and zero contract hours. It's best to copy the value from the DOM. How about we copy freelance? That's all we need. In the IDE, I'm going to paste freelance. At this point, let's go ahead and add a sleep statement so we can see the value when it shows up in the drop down. And let's run. The test script selected freelance in the drop down. For the next two drop downs, we will use select by value and select by index. Let me explain right quick. Do you see how employment status has a value of zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight? We use the value attribute to select by value. The index always start with zero. To select the first option, we use select by index of zero. But the index always starts with zero. Now, let's go ahead and inspect the job title. It has an ID value of imp search underscore job underscore title. Do you see how the value of one is for chief executive officer, let's select this option. There are two ways to use the select class. We can write select and we pass in the complete find element statement and assign it to job underscore title. The complete find element statement is driver dot find element by ID and the value we pass in and I think I copied and pasted I did not let me do that again driver dot find element by ID we're going to pass in the value and we're going to wrap this inside of the select let's go back and copy the ID value. 
and paste it. Now, for job title, we have access to it by writing job title dot. And we are going to select by value. And the value was one for the CEO. Next is the subunit. Go back to the IDE, inspect subunit. We see it has an ID value of imp search underscore sub underscore units. In this example, index and value are not the same. Index zero is all, and index one is administration. Notice the value one is missing. Let's use index two for engineering. So I'm going back to the IDE, and we write sub underscore unit equals select. And we're going to write the complete find element statement, drop a dot to find element by ID. The value is not correct. The value was imp search. I think it was imp search sub unit. Yes. Now we're going to select the option. Select by index and the index we are going to use is two for engineering at this point let's run we should see in the drop downs engineering ceo and freelance yes freelance chief executive officer and engineering that's it for the three options to help us select from a drop down, select by visible text, select by value, and select by index. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next session.